Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time we went to Neverland. It's pretty cool. We found Sora. No, we are Sora. We found Riku. <laughs> we found Kari. And we found a navigation piece that will lead us to Riku and Kari. The evil Riku who has taken Kari away to Hollow Bastion. Or at least I think it we're pretty sure it was Hollow Bastion. But now we get to go and see him. We give the navigation gummy to uh, Sid. Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm going. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So, as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Huh? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie? Did you call me? That is one of the strangest scenes in any game I've ever seen. Because it comes. I suppose it explains the motif of the games and the games later on, the, you know, the conflict between light and darkness. But that's still a bizarre way to explain it. But, with Sid giving us uh, the coordinates to our next world, we should probably go there. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Geppetto shop. I don't think I've explained this place too much. Uh, Geppetto shop just gives you configurations for gummy ships. There's not many of them that are any good. But now, we can head to the new world. But Goofy's telling us we don't know what's out there. We should re revisit some worlds first and get some new items. I already did that in the off time. So, what we're going to do is go straight to Neverland and then on. To hollow bastion. 
and you can tell that this is a serious place because the music for traveling there has changed. It's still the same ship as last time. I'm pretty positive with the modifications I made we can get through. This will be all good. Again, I think after this there's two more um two more gummy ship and gummy ship sections to the game. Or at least two more mandatory gummy ships gummy gummy ship sections like this. Um you know, the only thing that I'm really saying now is just the difference is how densely packed it gets. The last one's pretty, um, pretty dense and a bit clear stuff. But, you know, beyond that, there's not a whole lot I can say about this. I'm going to start using the cannons. I've got some, uh, I've got some better cannons than to start using because it's not, it's not that difficult. Just keep your lasers firing. Your lasers do enough damage. Uh, the only thing that you really have to worry about is power, because if you're using like the drain gummies and the cannons, then. You've just got to keep an eye on your power. And I'm trying to be somewhat sparing with them. Oh yeah. It, it's kind of a shame commentating over this because What's about to happen? Hollow Bastion is a really, really good level. I would say, in the entire Kingdom Hearts series, there's only one level better than it, and I'm saying all of Kingdom Hearts. Like, oh, th this is a game series that is nine games in. This is the second best level of the entire thing, to me. Welcome to Hollow Bastion. Do you recognize the place? We've seen it a couple of times in certain areas. It was referenced in... It was referenced in the Deep Jungle. It was on one of the slides. Riku landed here first. And... As you'll see, in memories or flashbacks or something Hollow Bastion is where they take place so this is a really really important area and something's yelling again every time we come back to see Maleficent and Riku they're here so now we get to see what this place is all about and it's pretty cool. I, 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 I can't tell you how, how much I really like this place. Live G, that's really good for the gummy ship. That'll help increase its health for the last level. The, well, the last two levels. Uh, this, this place will definitely be, be multiple parts. Uh, I've recorded two parts so far. Still not out. Uh, I should be out by the third part. So yeah, this this place we're going to see a, a, a fair bit of. But these air bubbles, you go down under the water, you go in, pick, pick yourself up a treasure chest because this is the only way you can get it. And you jump to get out because... You're not allowed to jump underwater with an air bubble. No sentence I thought I'd say out loud, but you know, there you go. I 
I really like the the, the, the the piano with this. No vessel, no help from the heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? <sighs> Beast. Uh, I simply believed. Nothing more to it. When our world fell into darkness, Belle was taken from me. I vowed I would find her again, no matter what the cost. I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. Okay. I will have her back! Take her if you can. Well, shit. Riku knocked out the beast. So, you finally made it. About time. I've been waiting for you. We've always been rivals, haven't we? You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku! But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What are you talking about? Let the Keyblade choose. It's true, Master! Well, shit. <laughs> Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But that's huh. impossible. How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade! You were just the delivery boy. Sorry. Wow! Your part's Dick. over now. Here. Go play hero with this. Let's go! We have to remember our mission! Oh, well, I know the king told us to follow the key and all, but... Show up! Show Hey, don't move! You're hurt! Why? Why did you... you come here? I came... to fight for Belle. And though I am on my own, I will fight. I won't leave without her. That's why I'm here. Me too. I'm not gonna give up now. I came here to find someone very important to me. And thus begins the most interesting combat part to Kingdom Hearts. Or at least as part of the regular game. Sora is now equipped with a wooden sword. He's lost the Keyblade. Fun. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Um, I'm not spec'd for this. I I come in as a as a, a more warrior based class. Then my dump stat was magic. This is important for this area because you come up against some of the stronger heartless in the game, and you literally have no physical attack. You can only use magic effectively. So if you go up to these, I'm swinging the sword, and you hear the sword hit. You know, you hear wood on 
and Ethan. And it does zero damage. So basically, Beast is now your bodyguard, or you can use magic. First thing I'm going to do is just activate that uh, lift. And then show off why I was going to the side at the start. Without realising something clever I could do. Also, these defenders are rough. Wooden swords can block a fireball! <laughs> Beast, anytime you're ready. Come on, when am I going to use magic? There we go. Can't really use that. But there you go. Fire. And you can see in the top left it is taking health from me. But my Sora's magic is terrible. So it was never gonna do all that much. <laughs> but you got good movements with the glide. And, you know, if not powerful magic, magic. And I love the fire. Uh, I love fire. Fire does a pretty healthy amount of uh, home damage. But if you do lose, uh, if you do lose magic, you have to go in and clobber them with the sword. Not to do damage, but to gain magic back. Uh, there are a couple of ways you can go about this. One of them is the way I'm doing it, which is being a bit more aggressive. The other one is to basically be a white mage and just heal up a uh, beast. So what we've got to do is go down the side and find a way to open the front gate. Obviously we've uh, not gotten around to that yet. It was locked when we went there. Guarded by a Defender Heartless who kind of speaks to me as one of the hardest ones in the game, but you know, obviously that's not true. There are more, more difficult ones down the line. But when I think of difficult Heartless, I always think the Defender. Big chunky shield, fire and ice magics, and really good physical attacks. Used to get killed by it a fair bit. But we found ourselves in the waterway, the top of the waterway, and we found out Beast's special skill. The call. And all call does is you call Beast over to smash something open. And this happens so few times. You you never need Beast in any other area other than the waterway. It's so baffling. But obviously that place was just for an item. What we really want to do is get into this air bubble and go underneath here. Now from here, we have a safe point, which is good to get the MP back up. And another area to call. Another water bubble. And this water bubble takes us to the entrance of a puzzle. And it's not much of a puzzle, to be honest with you. You just move on to the next one. You so you see that switch is a starting point, and then you progress to hitting every switch you see progressively throughout the puzzle. So it's a switch puzzle that's not really a puzzle. And what you're seeing is basically the order you have to do it in. I have done this so many times. I only had to take like a split second to have a look at it and go, is this correct? Is this right? Yeah, that one first. Because I won't be able to come back if I hit the other one first. Yeah, 
even had to make sure there was a there was not a button in there. But we go underneath. I see the button. There you go. <laughs> Press that. Jump on it. Go up. It feels also needless. I want to get I want to press the triangle button to get the beast to attack but I'd also end up doing like the sonic wave that will use up three uh, three bars of magic and I don't really want to do that anyway that button opens up the front door so once you press that you've got to do everything in reverse. Remember the order you pressed all the buttons in. It's fine with that. You don't even have to hit the last one. You walk around that bit. You you literally never have to press press that button again. There's another area you can call. There's a few uh, heartless in here, but there's also a couple items you can grab. And there's a trinity mark that we won't get until the next episode. I don't think. Obviously, we need to get Donald and Goofy back before we can go to that area. <laughs> and here's me trying to go, wait, which one's the way out again? It is this one. Just wanted to make double sure. Now we've got a choice of fighting these things or fighting these things because you can't really run away using the, uh, using the button. But as I say, when you run out of MP, you've got to go and hit it with a wooden sword. And give yourself fire. That is the tricky part of this. Uh, it's Hollow Bastion. But now our MP is spent. Just looking to see if we can make any of the higher reaches. That's a no. But I can't ignore everything and open this very big door. So that is the keyhole to Hollow Bastion, and they need seven princesses of the heart to reveal it. Be I feel on like your guard. Oh. They're close. I can feel it. Are you ready for them? <gasps> no. Well, that's a nasty trick. Oh boy, you can. 
No, not without Kyrie. The darkness will destroy you. Oh, that's You're a nice wrong, candle. Riku. The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die. Really? Well, we'll just see about that. Ah! Sora ain't gonna go anywhere. You'd betray your king? Not on your life. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, cause he's become one of my best buddies after all we've been through together. See you later, Donald! Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy! We'll tie him together! Well, you know... Oh, I guess you're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks a lot, Donald Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart! <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Well, that was melodramatic. <laughs> but hey! You got sort of the Keyblade back. So here's a fight with Riku, and because you can block, you can be more gre aggressive with him, but Riku is more aggressive with you. As I said before, I really like being a counter striker, so I wait for Riku to do his thing, guard and counter attack. Although I did miss time that one uh, goofy save my ass there. Riku's got some pretty nice attacks. He can attack when he's looking behind, when he's not looking. He's got a spinning attack that's really aggressive. But that front, that frontward slash leaves him really open. The forward slash leaves him really open. And that's the weakness you've got to take care of. It's not a difficult fight. But it's one that freaks Riku out. So, your heart won this battle. So for now, we are left in this area, and I don't show it off, and I should have shown it off. There is a doorway that is blocked. The next part of this is going to be us basically sorting out the blockage. Uh, we need four puzzle pieces, and we have to start by going through here, the library. With that, we have to start collecting books, and I fully admit this puzzle can be a bit great because it's a fetch quest, ultimately. But do you recognise the area from the start of the episode? That is where Carrie and the old lady spoke. Here, there's a couple of spinners. You know, spin them as many times as you need to to get the uh, the item at the end of it. So we don't have the book for that. I believe at one point I do get a bit mixed up. I want to make sure I've got everything before I go upstairs. There's a save point here specifically for a Trinity point. 
You'll find that they do that a couple of times. Because they kind of expect you to go with, you know, the, the, the character that is from here. May have done that my first time round, but afterwards I tried to stay mostly with Donald and Goofy. Because after a certain point, they are just better. And I think that I think the same is true with all the Kingdom Hearts games. Kingdom Hearts games. After a certain point, Donald and Goofy just outshine everyone. Another book needed. There's the green trinity mark. Uh, there's a book on there. And that's another book to bring down and collect that. So I think now we have everything ready to move on to the next area. We only need to open the door to the upper level of the area that we came from, the, the place that we fought, Riku. But to do that, we have to do a book puzzle. But hey, I'm giving you the answer to. Like I said, just keep turning this until it goes to the... Uh, the front being a treasure. I think this one is the most tedious one. There we go. Huzzah! I think I threw my hands up on it. Yes! When it finally comes down. In here, we have more books. This is the only really tricky one. You have to know where to put uh, the M series. And I knew straight away that that was wrong because of the banner below it. You want to share it three by three by three. So obviously, I don't have the book there. I do have the way out. There's me freaking out going, I know I'm missing the book, I know I'm missing the book, I am missing the book. I've just not picked it up yet. But, if we go up here, we can put this one in, delete this circuit, and gain access to the upper level, because that door is now unlocked. But I'm not satisfied with that. I know there's other things that I can do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look around the bookshelves a little bit until I finally find the book that I'm missing. Or I could lie and sort out the puzzle, the, the next puzzle. So yeah, smash the pots, fire! light the candles on fire. fire, push this with the uh, red trinity, so you need Donald, Sora and Goofy to get that puzzle piece. Fire! More fire. fire! Push this uh, totem into place. Gargoyle head. Fire! More fire. See Don't ya. hit the uh, gargoyle face on the wall. You need to thunder this. Here. And thunder is not a quick spell for me. Light that on fire to take out the fire in the middle. 
I believe that is all the puzzle pieces ready to be grabbed. So, emblem piece. Emblem piece. Emblem piece. And the last one is in the box that's over there. Emblem piece. And I grabbed it at that angle to give you a nice camera shot. Now, the emblem piece is going the door in that corridor to the right. I'm going to go back to the library because I'm convinced I can do this. So let's put this book in. It legitimately bugs me that I don't have what I need yet. So, gonna have a look if there's anything over here we've not grabbed. And there is! Something that was hidden between the books, bookcases, was only revealed once I opened the front one. Here I go over to check the colour and go, no, that's green, so. Gotta find another bookshelf. And this is the only one that we've not done yet. So we put the book in. And move it to reveal more books. Finally, the last green one. Now this place is pretty important, so I'll pick it out in the next episode as well. This has got a... A split path. It's a lift that can go two ways, but... You... You switch the tracks much further on in the level. Now this... It's an important way of grabbing items. There are a lot of items that are floating that you need to use magic to bring down. Specifically the gravity magic. Makes sense. But yeah, this lift. You go outside. And it gives, specific, specifically gives you this shot. So you can see that when it's travelling, it can go one of two ways. You can go left, which is its original um, movement, or it can go right, as you can see by the uh, the line. We'll change that at some point, but it's not just yet. Another gravity magic. There's the other item that we can get, and we get the Osmos uh, gummy. I'll use the I'll use the Osmos gummy. Is like the best version of the drain, uh, the drain gummy. I very nearly called it materia. But once I head back, I'm gonna save it, and after this, you can just say, next time, we explore some more Hollow Bastion. It gets good. I really love this place. And it's going to be in three parts, I believe. So when it comes back and it's four, I'll be sorry. Walter Red, signing out. Later.